Mark Rogers, TV on the top 10 bowl games for 2016 and 17. Keep in mind, the national championship game was just that, not a bowl game. Definitely the most important, also the highest level of play and the most dramatic. One second left on the clock. Clemson wins on the last play of the game, coming back from 14 down. Wasn't a bowl game, though. Let's run down the top 10 bowl games. We go to number 10 at Yankee Stadium, the Pinstripe Bowl. Northwestern over Pitt, 31-24. to This game had all sorts of dramatic plays, long plays. Justin Jackson with a long run from the one-yard line. He was the player of the game with over 220 yards of rushing, multiple touchdowns. Nate Peterman off to a great start for the Pitt Panthers. Unfortunately, he missed the second half. James Conner in his final collegiate game did not play the final three quarters. Northwestern with a slight upset over the Panthers, 31-24. Heart of Dallas Bowl at number nine. North Texas and Army, one of the few overtime games of the 41-game bowl season. Army, a big 11-point favorite, held a double-digit lead, but North Texas caught them on the final couple drives of regulation. Tied it at 31 Army wins in overtime 38-31 to complete one of the finest season uh, for the Knights in recent memory. Okay, we go to the number eight selection, the Camellia Bowl. It came down to a last-second field goal in an exciting game filled with offensive explosion between Appalachian State and Toledo and MAC Player of the Year, Logan Woodside. App State wins it on the last second field goal in the Camellia Bowl over the Rockets, 31-28. to Let's go to the St. Petersburg Bowl for our number seven selection. A low-scoring game, 17-16, but a tight one between the MAC and Mississippi State of the SEC. So you would think mid-level SEC, and actually not a highly ranked MAC team, a 6-6 six and six Red Hawk squad that outplayed the Bulldogs, had the game won, but Mississippi State wins it with a blocked field goal on the final play of the game. So the Red Hawks come storming down the field in the last minute of action and convert some big third and fourth down plays, get into position for a chip shot field goal, but Mississippi State blocks it to avoid an 0-5 start for the SEC in bowl play. Bulldogs win over Miami 17-16. Let's go to the Sun Bowl. Stanford 25, North Carolina 23. And despite not being able to see Christian McCaffrey, who decided to sit out, we did see most likely the number one rated quarterback going into the NFL draft, Mitch Trubisky of North Carolina. But it was the Stanford defense, even with Ryan Burns playing at quarterback in place of Killer Christ, who was hurt after just six pass attempts. The Cardinal came and they conquered that high powered North Carolina offense. But Trubisky led a last-minute drive all the way down the field through a beautiful touchdown on fourth down to make it 25-23. They went for two, but Solomon Thomas and uh, a number of his Stanford Cardinal teammates all over Trubisky wouldn't let him throw the ball on the two-point conversion. Cardinal survived to cap off a real comeback to this season at 10-3. Stanford 25, North Carolina 23. At number five, we go to the Birmingham Bowl, the big bad SEC with South Carolina going up against uh, South Florida, but it was the Bulls as a big 10.5-point favorite, and they jumped out to a huge lead behind Quentin Flowers, who, had, who accounted for four touchdowns in the game. Quentin Flowers, our uh, American Conference Player of the Year offensively with 42 touchdowns, 4,300 yards of offense, had an amazing game. But it was Jake Bentley who brought back South Carolina from 18 points down in the fourth quarter, down 39-21 to force overtime. Quentin Flowers, though, throws the game-winning touchdown in OT. The Bulls survive the Gamecocks 46-39. On to the Foster Farms Bowl, a game that didn't look very exciting on paper. Indiana and Utah, a couple defensive-minded teams, especially looking at the Utes. Uh, performance in 2016, but this one went back and forth, back and forth. Indiana misses a field goal with uh, about 30 seconds left that would have won this one. Utah survives Indiana 26-24, one of the hardest hitting football games I saw all postseason, believe it or not. Number three, a shootout between Louisiana Tech and Navy, of course, the midshipmen keeping it on the ground. 
Louisiana Tech, the Bulldogs throwing the football all over the field in the Armed Forces Bowl. It came down to a last-minute drive, and the Bulldogs executed all the way down the field until the final play in defeating Navy 48-45. All right, we get to the big boys in the final two top bowl games of 2016 and 17. The Orange Bowl, Florida State dominating Michigan through the first quarter and a half. Michigan survived and kept it close and played a great second half to get back in the game. Amazing plays on both sides of the ball. Dalvin Cook certainly stepped up in this one, his final collegiate game with 145 yards. Michigan and Florida State with the Wolverines going up 32-28 late, but Florida State comes back, scores the game-winning touchdown. Michigan blocks the PAT, gets the two-point conversion with just about 40 seconds to play to keep it 33-32, get the kickoff. You can win with a field goal, but the Florida State defense shut down Wilton Spate and company, and the Seminoles win it over the Wolverines 33-32. And finally, this was not a difficult choice. You would think after 41 bowl games, it would be tough to decide the best game. Not so. It was the granddaddy of them all in name and in performance this season with USC knocking off Penn State 52-49, truly two of the best teams, and they really represented the Big Ten and the Pac-12 in this one. Sam Darnold was amazing, completing passes for 453 yards, setting a Rose Bowl record with five touchdowns. USC, the dominant team for most of the first half, Penn State scoring on seven consecutive drives, seven straight touchdowns. They took a 14-point lead early in the fourth quarter, but USC comes storming back. They get the interception late off Trace McSorley, and USC pulls it out on the final play of the game in a highest-scoring game in the Rose Bowl ever, USC 52 and Penn State 49. My top 10 bowl games for 2016 and 17 need to hear from you now on Mark Rogers TV.